It's going on two months, that's eight weeks, since Russia invaded Ukraine. And there seems to be no good news of a truce. It feels to me that Putin really does not know what to do. So he keeps initiating new fronts in the hopes that something may work. Well, it will work, just not for good. And so the war continues. Meanwhile, back here at Peace 2024, we continue our countdown to Peace 2024 on September 21st, 2024. That's 127 weeks from now. A lot will change in that time, and that is what Peace 2024 is all about, bringing about change. My effort continues, despite the doubts and denials that I will succeed, but there is an old saying, never give up. In order for this to grow, I need a lot of people to share this mission. Getting that word out is going to be a challenge, but today I launched my first action proposal to help spread the word. How, you ask? Almost every activist group has one or more t-shirts. And in fact, t-shirts really do make a difference. You can just wear them and spread the word. But around here, we do things differently. Being a creative junkie and mainstream radical, here's how you are going to get your t-shirt. You're going to make it. No need to send in your specs and send money. No, you choose your own shirt and paint it. It's not enough to talk about things. It's so much better to do it. So that's what I set out to do. Yes, you and anyone else around the world can make not one, not two, but as many shirts as you like. It's a great way to invest in Peace 2024 with your time and talent at your convenience. It's also a great way to get your kids and their friends actively showing their commitment to Peace 2024. So, let's get started. And keep in mind, this is my first attempt. So I went down to the garage and found a piece of cardboard from a box. Amazingly enough, it was exactly the right width for my t-shirt. Be sure your t-shirt has been washed and dried and don't use fabric softener. You can easily do this by hand. Then it's time to begin. I placed the shirt on and lined it up so it was centered, then traced an outline of the shape to cut off and I included a tab for the neck. This helps a lot. I then cut out the shape and placed the shirt over my support. Then I mommy proofed my working surface by placing newspapers down and taped them all in one place. This is really important to maintain peace in your home. I placed the t-shirt down so I could reach it easily. Here's what I used. You'll need some textile media, which any craft store like Hobby Lobby or Michaels carries, and it's relatively inexpensive. As you can see, I used some inexpensive craft paints. I had an assortment of flat brushes and decided to use one that was about one half inch wide. I decided to use only one color and added a good bit to a small dish. Then I added the textile medium, probably about a third as much. It's not critical. And I stirred it up good. I used masking tape to create guides for my lettering. I started by lining up the bottom piece with the bottom of the arms to keep it level, then added the top strip. For reference, I placed two strips of tape to indicate the middle. It's a great visual cue. I took two pieces of printer paper and taped them together so that they extended to the sides. I folded it in half to find the perfect center. I marked the height on one end with a marker and did the same on the other end. I then added lines. This represents the area I need to use for text. Using a pencil, I sketched in the word peace. I made some finessing and then recentered the words. I taped it down and was ready to begin. Again, I adjusted the paper to center the text and taped it in place. Then, I carefully did a first go at laying in my block letters. I kept adding more layers until it was solid. 
Then I used the same paper and used red to sketch in 2024 and centered it with the lettering above. I used the same height and added the bottom tape guide, leaving one tape width between the two lines. Then proceeded as before, taping down my guide and hand laying in 2024. I continued to add paint and finally there it was, albeit a bit off center, but that's how you learn. Finally, I had it all painted in. Time for the moment of truth. Voila! My own Peace 2024 t-shirt that I made myself. I put it in the sun for a few hours to dry. Then it was time for the heat setting. I used parchment paper. I laid it down flat on the ironing board. Took my t-shirt and the support. Removed it and placed it paint side up on the ironing board. I then placed the parchment over the text. I used a medium to hot iron set so as not to emit steam and began to slowly move it back and forth making sure that every area got at least 20 seconds of heat. And it was ready to put on. And so I did. Pretty cool. Would I do things differently next time? Yes. I'd probably make the letters smaller. You can do this too. Please do it and have fun. But you don't have to do it like I did. I suggest, being an advocate of free expression, that you do whatever you want. Use colors, freeform, add images. And I'm excited that kids of all ages can do this and have fun. And most importantly, spread the word for Peace 2024. Make your shirts. You've got 127 weeks to show them off. And here's a really cool idea. I am an advocate that when peace is profitable, lots of people will do it. So I encourage you all to make t-shirts and even sell them. Start your own independent business. Make as much money as you want. Yes, peace is profitable. Kids can make them and sell to their friends. In fact, I hope everyone starts making their own Peace 2024 t-shirts. And when you do, send me pictures of you wearing them proudly in public places and events. I guarantee it will get people talking, which is what I suggested this was intended to do. And you can make other things with the Peace 2024 words. You could even write songs and poems and stories and share them here. Become a real peacemaker and send me your pictures and more. As we do, we can use a simple technique to help spread the dream of Peace 2024. Email me at yes at peace2024.com. This is Sidney Wildsmith saying it's 127 weeks to Peace 2024 that we can celebrate on September 21st, 2024, the International Day of Peace. Come on along.